What up, you sexy ass people? So, after the cheesecake last week, got a bit of a sweet tooth. Broken the New Year's resolution to eat healthy. I thought, well, let's go balls deep. Plus, put my daughter to bed, she didn't want to sleep. So the only thing I could do was bribe her by saying I'm gonna make her some special chocolate cakes for tomorrow. Now, the recipe we're gonna to do today is mainly kind of a minimalist baker brownie recipe. Tweaked it a little bit for myself, but if you don't know minimalist baker, check him out. Dead simple stuff, minimal ingredients that you need, as the name suggests. I've got a lot of stuff in the cupboard, so for let's get in with that and we'll give it a go. It's gonna be a nice short video today with a good old taste test. Let's get it boy! and 60 grams of stoned dates, big pinch of salt, 150 grams of 100% pure smooth peanut butter, zest of one orange, that's gonna be for the decoration, 90 G's of pistachios, two tablespoons of melted coconut oil, and then over here we've got some nice chocolate milk, or dairy free, chocolate drops, we get, we've got these from Asda, Working out about, oh, let's check it out. I think it's about 70 grams. Let's have a look. No, 50 G's on that. And then we've got some unsweetened, high quality cocoa. Got 20 G's of that as well. And that's all you need. Like with a cheesecake, just need a blender and that good stuff. Oh, and half a cup of warm water. Actually, half a cup measurement, not my mug. A blender, this, and an oven and some bacon trays. Apparently, it works out good. First time I'm doing it, let's do this together. So, since mixing it all up and getting it to go in the oven, it's been a bit emotional. Two points. One, I didn't have the right size tin. You need a really small loaf tin for this. I was trying to do it in like a small baking tin. And then, two, I didn't let it chill enough. I did not let this cool enough. But look at this. Look at the sticky goodness. In the end, I ended up whacking it in the fridge for a little bit because it, oh, it was just so sticky. But look. It's just pure filth. Let's give it a taste test. This is pure goo. Absolute pure goo. The chocolate in this, it's immense. I didn't think that cocoa would taste that. I mean, I got some good quality cocoa from Asda. It costs about two quid, something like that. Got loads left of it though, but the kid's gonna be happy with this in the morning. I mean, look at it. Absolutely. Look at the fingers, it's all over the place. Amazing. Once that's been in the fridge overnight, firms up a little bit more. You can tell, it's gonna firm around the edge, but the middle bit's still gonna be stupidly, stupidly gooey. So, Give it a go, love with me, small loaf tin. Let it cool a lot longer. I let it cool for about 
10 minutes in the tin, like the Minimus Baker says, 10 minutes in the tin, try to put it on the rack, it will just start to fall apart. So I say, leave it a little bit longer, with 20 minutes in the tin, just go and chill out, watch some TV, and then uh, come back and see what it's like then. But as always, big love, chocolate madness, peace.